everyone. Uh, I'm back. Uh, I haven't been here uh, for a while. Uh, yeah, and I just felt like making a video. Wow, I look so different right now with my brown hair. I dyed my hair brown about like a year ago. Well, this is actually my natural color, by the way. I had to dye it brown from the blonde, from all the blonde highlights that I've had like my whole life. Now my hair, my natural hair has grown, has grown in. So yeah, so I'm a brunette now. Anyways, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Gal. So today I'm gonna be talking about uh, how much I spent in June and I'm gonna compare it to how much I used to spend. Uh, I'll compare it to the last video I made. It was February of 2023, I made a how much I spent in a week, but I'm gonna compare uh, how much I spent in June uh, to how much I spent in February uh, of 2023. I'm gonna share uh, the different changes I've done since then and how I've managed uh, to lower my expenses by about like $500. And also, uh, I'm going to build my budget, uh, my July budget. If you wanna follow along uh, my money journey, then uh, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any videos. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I need to, I need my laptop for this. I don't know if you can see here, but I have like a, a, a line um, separating my fixed expenses and my variable expenses. I always like to separate them into two. Like the fixed ones are the expenses that every month just comes off my credit card or just every month are the same. They're usually rent, bills, car insurance, renter insurance. I also put my uh, workout app in my fixed expenses because that's just a reoccurring uh, expense that comes off my credit card every month. And then I have my variable costs, groceries, gas, coffee, going out, self-care, and miscellaneous. My miscellaneous expenses are like random, whatever is not in these categories go into miscellaneous. I don't make a budget for every category. It's just easier to put it in miscellaneous. That way I could see how much I'm spending and then decide like where I want to spend more, where I want to spend less. Uh, so I could kind of stick to my $3,000 a month uh, budget. So the left column here is what I spent in June last month, June 2024. And then uh, the middle column is what I spent in February of 2023. And on the right, you could see uh, the difference between June uh, compared to February. So rent, rent obviously same. Well, my rent went up, I think in February of 2024. I don't know when my rent went up, but luckily it didn't go up a lot. It only went up by like $60, so that's good. They usually don't do that. Usually um, they up the rent by a few hundred dollars a month, but luckily it was practically the same. Electricity, also about the same. Uh, I usually, that's like how much I usually spend on electricity. 80, $100 a month, just depends. Uh, by the way, I was on vacation uh, all of May till uh, June 10th. I got back three weeks ago on June 10th. So, so this is like, not a whole month. Internet, pretty much the same. Car and uh, renter's insurance. Another way uh, to lower your expenses is to uh, compare between uh, different insurance companies and um, electric companies uh, so you could get like best price. I do that every once in a while. And also it's a good idea to bundle. If you have renter's insurance and car insurance, uh, use the same uh, company so you could get like, oops, so you could get a better price. So every once in a while I call, I kind of compare prices. So uh, I bundled up my car insurance and my renter's insurance. So I actually uh, got it down from last year by about $30. So why not? That's about $360 a year and it's just a phone call. So every, literally like every, I don't know, not every year, like every few years, I kind of take the time uh, and call and compare uh, between different companies. Uh, electricity, internet, uh, phone, everything. And that's how uh, I lower my bill. Good that I lowered my uh, renter's insurance and car insurance uh, because my uh, phone bill, uh, my monthly phone went to $30. I just had a year free uh, on my phone plan because I switched uh, phone companies. Moved over uh, my phone to my internet uh, supplier. Uh, health insurance, 
um, basically the same uh, subscription. So I just canceled all my subscriptions except for my workout app. That's like the only thing that's important for me. I used to pay, it's not a lot, it's like $7 a month uh, for uh, Microsoft Office, but uh, I ended up just buying it for like $40. I don't even remember where it was. You could just pay a one-time fee and then you don't have to pay monthly for it. And it was like a discount, so it was like $40. So that lowered uh, my monthly subscriptions uh, by uh, $40. Groceries. Groceries is uh, where there's a big change. I used to spend so much on groceries. I used to spend about like $500 a month on groceries. Like I, I still do. I love grocery shopping. I love cooking, uh, but like that adds up. Um, there were months that my grocery expenses were like $700. <laughs> I have cut down my groceries by so much and I'm literally staying in that budget. I lowered my budget from 500 to 200. Last month, June, is a little bit different. I didn't stick to it. I just had a special uh, like event. I hosted a, a barbecue at the pool like in my building. Uh, so I did like a big barbecue and invited a lot of people. I didn't stay within my $200 monthly budget of groceries this month, but it usually um, I stay within like $200. So that, uh, that pretty much saves me $300 a month because I do a lot of planning around my groceries. Uh, what to buy, where to buy, uh, meal prepping, everything. Gas and tolls, that's about the same. Coffee, uh, my coffee shop budget, about the same, like $50 food and drinks. June was a little bit different. Uh, like I said, I uh, I went on vacation in May and I got back on June 10th. So uh, my food and drinks, uh, food and drink expenses aren't included really here because I went overseas and uh, I took out cash in May. So, and I included it in my May uh, expenses. So I just took out cash and I didn't even spend my credit cards. I prefer just um, being with cash instead of my credit card because I didn't want any high credit card currency uh, exchange fees or whatever. So I just got cash and I uh, exchanged it a local uh, currency exchange. So I wrote it as an expense for the month of May when I took out cash. So just like girl math, like I took out the expense in May and so it's already an expense. So like if I have some cash left, then um, it's like basically free. I also lowered uh, my self-care budget, not because I'm <laughs> caring less for myself. Uh, it used to be around 200, maybe even more, I don't know. Now it's about 100. I'm focusing more on quality over quantity. I'd rather focus on skincare than just like buy a lot of makeup. I don't even wear makeup anymore. When I say makeup, I'm talking about like foundation, tinted sunscreen, tinted moisturizer. I basically only use uh, moisturizer and sunscreen, of course, and uh, self-tanner on my face. So I don't need any like makeup. And then, yeah, I'll put a little bit of uh, blush in my freckles and that's pretty much it. I kind of felt like makeup is ruining my skin. I don't I don't know why when I take it off, I feel like my face is dry and I just, I don't want to wear makeup anymore. I just want a good moisturizer. I want to just sunscreen and a sub tanner. And also I found that uh, when I have makeup on, it's very hard for me to like reapply sunscreen over. Uh, I just want to really focus on my skin. I'm using the most minimal amount of products. The last category is miscellaneous. I really lowered those expenses as well. Now, when I say miscellaneous, I mean anything that um, is not in one of these categories is just in miscellaneous, and I also reduced that. I lowered my budget to 200. So, total uh, June expenses was $2,855 compared to my February expenses, which were $3,000. $566. The changes I've made are mostly in the groceries category that I started planning my meals better, shopping at more inexpensive uh, grocery stores. Also a big change is in my miscellaneous. This category includes stuff for fun, events, what else in this? Just like everything else. Another example of what I would put in my miscellaneous category is a cleaning lady. I used to have a cleaning lady come uh, about every two weeks, like twice a month. I also put Ubers, 
which all those things add up. All these things together uh, lowered my uh, expenses uh, by about $500 a month. Moving on to the second part of the video, my July budget. Put all my expenses in this chart by category and this transaction tracker that I use, everything I spend, I put it in that tracker and, and I update it about once a week. I go through all my bills and update uh, my spreadsheet. That way uh, every week I could kind of see if I'm within my budget or not. Divided again into two, um, above the line, my fixed expenses, uh, below um, is my variable expenses. So. So yeah, and then every month in the end of the month, uh, I see if I was within my budget or not, and then um, I set my new budget. I'll go in depth uh, about my budgeting routine uh, in another video. This is just like a table that I use um, to track my monthly expenses. I already put it in for July. So rent and water is about $1,500 a month. I don't exactly because the water is included in my rent. It's usually a little less than $1,500 a month, but that's basically a fixed expense. And then my electricity also is always around $100 a month. Another fixed expense. Internet is $57 a month. Car and renter's insurance is $49 a month. Again, another fixed expense. Phone, $30 a month. Health insurance, $334 a month. And my workout app every month is $16. So... Uh, my total fixed expenses are $2,086. Now my variable expenses, groceries, I budget $200 a month, gas and tolls, $80 a month, coffee shops, $50 a month, food and drinks, I budget $200 a month, self-care, $100 a month, and miscellaneous, $200 a month. So my budget is just under $3,000 a month. So let's see uh, in the end of July if I stuck uh, within the budget and then the rest goes to saving slash investing so like I said all uh, everything that's not in one of the categories goes to miscellaneous like shopping ubers everything I don't like to, to do categories for specific things like shopping uh, also ubers because sometimes I feel like buying something sometimes I don't when I have a budget for so many things I feel like I need to like spend it oh I need to do $200 in shopping or oh I have $100 on ubers I could spend whatever I need I put in miscellaneous and sometimes when I spend a lot on one thing I'll like spend less on something else as you can see my variable expenses are pretty low because I allocate more to my fixed expenses like my rent that was my uh, July budget. Hopefully I'll stick to it. I'm planning on doing more budgeting and personal finance videos. So if that interests you, uh, you are welcome to follow along uh, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, so I hope you found this uh, video informative and I will see you in my next